the God that we serve, a God who is able to call dry bones alive and not just alive, but energized. I want to thank my sister Green, Sister Janan Green, for her song. It's, it is a song that is so fitting right now. I also want to thank Sister Kayan Green for her introduction. The team, hallelujah, anyhow, I will go. I just want to welcome everyone to our Vespa service. It is such an awesome feeling to be in the presence of the Lord. I want to share something with you. You see, church, when I think, I said, when I think of the goodness of Jesus and what he has done for me, my heart cried out, Hallelujah! Thank God for saving me. Heavenly Father, your children have come before you this evening once more. Lord, we need a word. Father, speak. Your messenger is listening. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I will also want to ask you something. If you know that the Lord is keeping you, what are you worrying about? If you know that the Lord is keeping you, why won't you sing and shout? Glory, hallelujah, and praise his name. Let us praise God from, from whom all blessings flow. Our, our best for charge is entitled, Your Voice Matters. Your Voice Matters. We see how some women are dressed nowadays, exposing everything. And you will hear men be little women in the worst way, based on how they carry themselves. In Proverbs 31 verse 30 reads, Favor is deceitful and beauty is vain, but a woman that fears the Lord, she shall be praised. Let us turn our Bibles to Judges 4, verse 9. Judges 4, verse 9. And I read. And she said, I will surely go with thee, notwithstanding the journey that thou takest shall not be for thy honor, for the Lord shall sell Sisera in the hand of a woman. And Deborah arose and went with Barak to Kedesh. After Moses led Israel out of the land of Egypt, and Joshua had led Israel into the land, promised to Abraham to conquer the Canaanites, Israel fell into a cycle of disobedience that prompted God's wrath to fall on Israel in the form of slavery to the Canaanites. In this time, God raised up judges to redeem Israel from political slavery and give them an opportunity to repent. Israel often did repent, but for a single generation, but fell back into idolatry and disobedience, prompting once again God's wrath. Deborah was the only named female judge during this time, and her voice matters. Why? Because she was under the leading of the Holy Spirit. She was on a mission. She was ready to go wherever the Lord sent her or whom to go to. There was this man named Barak. He was known to be a brave and a military leader. But something happened. The Lord had given him a command to go on his mission, to go to battle, but he did not go. Deborah had to send to call him and remind him what the Lord commanded him to do. She even mentioned that the Lord would deliver Barak. Then that did not change Barak's mind. Barak purposed in his mind that he will not go. He became afraid. He had no confidence in Israel coming together. The Lord has a work for us to do. And every time the Lord asks, Who will go? We put it off. I try to send some 
someone else saying, they will go. The Lord wants us to say, I will go. Your voice matters. Judges 4 verse 8 reads, And Barak said unto her, If thou will go with me, then I will go. But if thou will not go with me, then I will not go. The Lord had given Barak, the leader, the command, but he refused to go without Deborah. Are we like that when God sent us on mission because the pastor, the elders, person who you think in the church for so long, and you are a new convert and they're not going, that change your mind. Don't allow that to stop you. The Lord wants us to go out and witness. Two by two is recommended, but all of us have our calling. And when God send you somewhere, you better know that you are not a conjoined twin to anybody in the church. And if you don't go, if you refuse to go, he will bring deliverance to someone who will say, I will go. We should only be a conjoined twin with God. Everywhere we go, he should be with us. By beholding him, we will become changed. The trained military leader said, I am not going without the woman. And Deborah said, Hallelujah, anyhow, I will go. I am going to praise my God all the way. You are asking God for a victory. You are asking for deliverance. God is saying to someone today, don't wait until you get what you ask for. Then you praise me. He is saying, you can praise me now for something that hasn't happened yet. You can shout, hallelujah, anyhow. Our job is not to worry about what seems impossible. Our job is to do what God has told us and leave the results to him. Barak and Deborah and the men had went to battle and they defeated the enemy. God bring deliverance through the hand of a woman. God has called us woman. Your voice matters. We can make a change. Under the leadership of Deborah, Israel repented and cried out to the Lord for deliverance. God has a work for us women to do. We are to help the men. Some of them are afraid to be warrior for the Lord. So the Lord has chosen us women to help them to evangelize. There are certain types of, of people that only the voice of a woman can reach them because your voice matters. If we look in our churches, there is a shortage of men. We women have to go in the fields to witness to our men and bring them in the church. Remember, God is not asking for anything that is impossible. Today, the church and society needs women who will stand up for God. Needs women who will win victory. Victory accord because person take a stand. We should be strong, vigorous, women of firm character, no matter the pain, no matter the struggles, no matter the hardship. Your voice matters. You should be saying, hallelujah, anyhow, I will go. God call us women to the gospel and to leadership. We must use our gift for the advancement of his kingdom and the glory of his name. Women, it is time for us to answer our calling. God calls for earnest women, workers who are prudent and warm-hearted, tender and true to principle. He calls for, con for preserving women who will take their minds from self 
and their personal convenience and will center them on Christ. We are mothers. We are caring. Let us get up and go. Show people that God is love and he loves them. God promised us victory. For us to be victorious, our eyes must be on Christ. Let me repeat that. For us to be victorious, our eyes must be on Christ. We become like what we behold. Be careful what you are holding on to. Deborah and Barak, after getting the victory, they sing their victory song in Judges 5, verse 2 and 3. Praise ye the Lord for the avenging of Israel. When the people willingly offered themselves, hear, O ye kings, give here, O ye prince, I even, I will sing unto the Lord. I will sing praise to the Lord God of Israel. Maybe they were also singing, faith is the victory. Maybe they were singing, trust and obey. Maybe they were even singing, blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. As a child of God, stand up for God. It is not an easy role, but it is the best. I can say hallelujah anyhow. I will go because I am well experienced. These months, what I am going through, never in my life I have gone through these things. Pressure in, pressure out until I feel like giving up. It's like I can't breathe. It's like I am fighting a losing battle. But guess what? I have realized that when the pain is too much, it is time to give birth. It is time to deliver. I am here to tell someone, hold on and believe. As we approach a new week, remember, your voice matters. Praise God and go. Give him a hallelujah when the trials increased and said, I will go. If you could choose between winning and losing, what would you choose? We naturally want to win. Too often, however, we are overcome. But God wants us to be victorious. But oh, by faith, by trust, by belief, and by praise. Your hallelujah, your voice can help save someone's life. It can help someone who thinks there is no hope. You can't keep quiet. Never let your troubles get you down. When trials come, hold your head up high and say, Hallelujah, anyhow, I will go. Don't let your troubles get you down. If Satan blocks your way, stand right up and say, Hallelujah, anyhow, I will go. Let me share something with you. I have had the experience of applying for jobs. Jobs that you don't have to have any subject to get. And I am more than qualified. It's like everything I have tried, I fail. But guess what? There's one thing I try and success, and that is Jesus. Falling in love with Jesus, that's the best thing you could do. So someone who is hearing my voice this evening, happiness, you have happiness and you have joy. Things, trial can help you to lose your happiness, but it cannot take away your joy because your joy is found in Jesus. So I'm introducing Jesus to you. Accept him today and don't wait for tomorrow. And because of accepting Jesus, I can say, Hallelujah! Anyhow, I will go.